Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about merge sort in data structures. Now, let us quickly look into the agenda for today's session. We will first begin with understanding what exactly is divide and conquer algorithm. Next, we will try to define the merge sort algorithm. After that, we will understand the working of merge sort algorithm. Later, we will learn the pseudo code of merge sort algorithm. After that, we will understand the complexities of merge sort algorithm. Next, we will see some of the real time applications of merge sort algorithm. And finally, we will wind up the session by understanding some of the important drawbacks of merge sort algorithm. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with our first topic that is what exactly is divide and conquer algorithm. A divide and conquer algorithm iteratively divides a problem into two or more sub problems of the same or relative type until they are simple enough to be solved directly. The sub problem solutions are then integrated to solve the original problem. There are three steps involved in the divide and conquer principle that is divide, conquer and combine. The first step is to divide the significant problem into smaller sub problems. The second phase is to conquer the solutions to all divided sub problems. Then the final step is to combine and merge all of the solutions to create a definite solution. We will understand this by an example right here on my screen. Suppose we have a large problem. We can use divide and conquer technique to divide it into n number of sub problems such as problem 1, problem 2, problem 3, problem 4 and so on until we reach the problem n. Then we conquer all the solutions to the specified sub problems as solution 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And finally we merge all the solutions to get one definitive solution. Now that was divide and conquer algorithm. Followed by that, let us get into merge sort algorithm. So merge sort is one of the most efficient sorting algorithms. It is based on divide and conquer strategy. Merge sort continuously divides a list into numerous sublists until each sublist contains only one entry. Then merges all those sublists into a sorted list. There are four elements on my screen. We have seven and three in the left half and five and two in the right half. After dividing the four elements in half, we combine all the items in ascending order that is two, three, five and seven. In the next segment, we are going to understand how it happened and we are going to learn the working procedure of merge sort algorithm. There are two approaches to implement the merge sort algorithm. The first method is top down approach and the second method is bottoms up approach. The first method that is the top down approach implies that it begins with the large picture from then it's broken into smaller chunks. Now the second method that is the bottom up technique which starts with a specific number of jobs and works its way up to the general. Let's have a look at how to implement the merge sort algorithm using top down approach. The top down merge sort approach is the methodology that uses a recursion mechanism. It starts at the top and proceeds downwards, splitting the array into two halves, making a recursive call and merging the results until one gets to the bottom of the array. For a better understanding of the top down approach method, consider the following scenario right here on my screen. We have an example of an array of size 6 consisting of elements 7, 3, 9, 5, 6 and 4, starting with 0 and ending with 5. Using the following formula, we'll divide the array by its middle, that is, middle is equals to left plus right divided by 2. We have 3 elements on the left and 3 elements on the right near the middle. So according to the top down strategy, we divide the given array in half resulting in 3 elements that is 7, 3 and 9 on the left and 5, 6 and 4 on the right. Next, we sort all these elements in ascending order. By doing so, 
the first half will be 3, 7 and 9 and the right half will be 4, 5 and 6. And after merging all of them, we will have the sorted array that is 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Next, we will understand the bottoms up approach. An iterative process is used in bottoms up merge sort approach. It starts with a single element array and then joins two neighboring items while also sorting them. The combined sorted arrays are combined and sorted again only until one single unit of the sorted array elements remains. Now let us look at an example right here on my screen. In the first iteration, we will merge pairs of array sizes by one sorting each of the two elements. When you iterate the array by size 1, the elements 7 and 3 become 3 and 7. Similarly, 9 and 5 become 5 and 9. And finally, 6 and 4 become 4 and 6. We will merge the pairs of array size by 2 in the next iteration with the bottoms up method. As a result, the elements 3, 7 and 5 will become 3, 5 and 7. And the same way, 9, 4 and 6 will become 4, 6 and 9. In the last iteration, merge pairs of array size by 3 so that after sorting 3, 5, 7, 4, 6 and 9 becomes 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 as sorted arrays. After understanding the working procedure of merge sort algorithm, we will now see the pseudocode of merge sort algorithm. We have a function called merge sort in this pseudocode and parameter of the function contains an array named as array and two variables named as left and right. If the number of elements in the left is greater than the number of elements on the right, we will get a middle using formula left plus right divided by 2. The merge sort is called and this function now has an array, a left variable and right variable. By calling merge sort, we have array left as middle plus 1 and right variable. And finally, by calling merge sort, we have left, middle and right variables. In our upcoming segment, we will implement the merge sort method in a practical demonstration. In the next section, we will discuss the complexity of merge sort algorithm. First, we will look into the time complexity of merge sort algorithm. As we all know, time complexity in data structures is divided into best case, average case and worst case. The best case of merge sort algorithm is big O of n into log n. Average case of merge sort algorithm is big O of n into log n. And the worst case of merge sort algorithm is big O of n into log n. The number of elements being sorted is given by n. Merge sort's time complexity is big O of n star log n in all three situations that is worst, average and best because it always divides the array into two halves and merges the two halves in linear time. It takes up the same amount of space as the unsorted array. As a result, it is not a good idea to use it to search big unsorted arrays. Moving on to the space complexity of the merge sort algorithm, the space complexity of the merge sort algorithm is large O of n. In the merge sort algorithm, we store the left and right parts of the merged array in the temporary arrays and then utilize the original array to keep the entire merged array. In the worst case scenario, the left and the right sub arrays will each be n by 2 in size and then the total auxiliary space will be big O of n resulting in a space complexity of big O of n. Following that, we will look into several applications of the merge sort algorithm. So the first application is merge sort is an efficient way to sort linked list in big O of n log n time. Subsequent application of the merge sort algorithm is for linked lists. Merge sort implemented without taking up more space. Followed by that, the merge sort method is used to count the number of inversions in a list. Last application states that in internal sorting, the merge sort is employed. Now let us look into some of the drawbacks of merge sort algorithm. So some of the drawbacks of merge sort algorithm are for smaller assignments, merge sort algorithm is slower than the other sorting algorithms. For temporary array, the merge sort technique requires an additional memory space that is space of big O of n. Now let us look into a practical demonstration of merge sort algorithm. On my screen we have an example for merge sort algorithm. 
To define constants or micro substitution, we use the hash defined as preprocessor directive with a constant variable max of 10. Following that, two arrays, array 1 and array 2 are declared. We declare array 1 and initialize it with elements like 8, 4, 7, 6, 2, 3, 5, 9, 10, 4 and 1. Array 2 is used for temporary array. Then to implement the merge sort concept, we declare a merge sort function. We specify three variables in this function parameter that is left, right and middle. The left variable is used to display the left part of the array 1. The right variable is used to display the right part of the array 1 and middle variable is used to indicate the middle or center of the array in this function. We utilize the for loop in this function, setting the left to level 1 the middle plus 1 to level 2 and the left to variable i with the condition that level 2 is less than or equal to the middle and level 2 should be less than or equal to the right of the array. We have a condition in this for loop that if level 1 of array 1 is less than or equal to level 2 of array 1, we will initialize all the consecutive elements of level 1 of array 1 to array 2. Else, we will initialize all the successive elements of level 2 of array 1 to array 2. Out of for loop all subsequent elements of level 1 of array 1 will be initialized to array 2 until level 1 is less than or equal to the middle. All successive elements of level 2 of array 1 will be initialized to array 2 until level 2 is less than or equal to the right of the array. Using the loop which will run from i equal to the left of i is less than or equal to right. We initialize all the items of array 2 to array 1. We have declared one more function in this code, namely sorting. Out of the merging sort function, in which only the left and right variables are defined, we specified the middle function in the sorting function with the condition that if the left is less than the right, the middle will be calculated as left plus right divided by 2. Then we called the sorting function passing left as middle as right and then another sorting function passing left as middle plus 1 and right. Finally, we use the merge sort function passing left, middle and right to the sorting array 1, otherwise we would return nothing. We entered the main function out of the sorting function where we declared the counter variable i and printed the array before sorting using the printf function in for loop where i will run from index 0 to the array's maximum size. After that, we invoke sorting method passing left as 0 index number and right as the array's maximum value. Finally, after doing the merge sort process, we will print the array using the printf function and for loop. We will run from 0 to the array's maximum value. Then, we compile the program and run it. Now, let's try to quickly execute this program and see the output. So, there you go, the program got successfully executed and the list before sorting is 87623591 and the list after sorting is 12344567891 and 10. And with that we have come to an end of this session on merge sort algorithm. If you have any queries or if you need the code executed in this particular tutorial, then please feel free to let us know in the comment sections below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your questions. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.